All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So we're looking at yet another speed raid card. So OMK gum was kind of, eh, like I said, he wasn't even OK gum. He was kind of like, bleh, gum. I, I don't want to knock any brand of gum, so I won't say any particular brand, but yeah, it's some nasty gum. But uh, anyway, uh, today we are looking at a horse. So I'm thinking that all these are like toys or something. I think I think all the speed raid monsters are toys. Uh, so someone's like, oh, okay, uh, OMK gum kind of looks like a Moshonic. He really did. Like, he really did look like a like a, a stick of gum that transforms into a robot. But uh, yeah, today we are looking at a horse, a toy horse. Okay, this is Speedroid Bamboo Horse. Uh, uh, why is he called Bamboo Horse? Like, are his legs made out of bamboo? Those those look like pogo sticks, if anything. Like, I, I don't really get why he's called Bamboo Horse. Like, is he made out of bamboo? It doesn't really look like it. Mm, whatever. But he's clearly some kind of horse. Looks like like when, when toy horses you ride. But yeah, kind of like combined with a pogo stick. Because his legs look like pogo sticks. So he is a wind machine effect monster. Level 4. Uh, 1100 attack, 1100 defense. 1100 is not really a stat that's seen too often. But both on attack and defense? Like, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this effect. So when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level 4 or lower speed or monster from your hand. Okay, so you're kind of like... Uh, like Yo-Yo, except Yo-Yo grabs from the graveyard uh, when this card, you know, when Yo-Yo is normal summon, it summons a level 3 or lower speed or monster from the graveyard, this summons from the hand. Uh, it's it's kind of situational, you know? There's actually some times where you're like, man, I wish I could just summon and then summon the speed or monster from my hand. Like, that might be pretty decent to go ahead and do. It just, you only get the effect when it's normal summon, not when it's special summon. It's kind of ripped. So, uh, generally, you want to save your normal summon for, you know, a really key play in speed rights while special summoning everything else. If you normal summon this, it'll give you a special summon at a level 4 or lower speed or monster from your hand. So, you could do some rank 4 plays, you know, uh, if you have a mirror track, you could just normal summon this, this will summon you another level 4 speed or monster, whether it be another copy of itself, whether it be Double Yo-Yo or Pachinko, or who the fuck plays Razor Rank, you know. Uh, uh, some people do play Menko, so you can play, you can summon Menko, you know. Uh, and then go into a rank 4 play, whether that be Castell, Dweller, Utopia, the Lightning, you already know how it is, so, uh, that's not terrible, that's not terrible, or of course, you can do some Synchro Summon play, so you can summon this, this will summon you, like, uh, Red Eye Dice, or Tri Eye Dace, or, uh, you know, Den Den, uh, Daiko Duke, and you can go ahead and Synchro Summon right into that Clear Wing, so, overall, not bad, you know, it doesn't give you a plus, like, Yo-Yo dies, because Yo-Yo grabs from the graveyard, which is not a resource. This doesn't plus you. It just summons and summons another monster from your hand. Same resources, hand and filler, same resource, so that's not a plus. Do your play. So, so that's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Uh, it's, it has another effect. So, during your main phase, except the turn this card is sent to the graveyard, oh, of course. Like, it seems like whenever something has a graveyard effect, uh, well, not, not always. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, it's just like, it's, they're like, you know, this, this, you can't use the fact except for the turn graveyard. Fucking, you know, like, like, PK? Yeah, sure, they can go ahead and do it. So, you're showing a little bit of favoritism to that Yuto over that Yuga right now. Anyway, uh, during your main phase, you accept this turn with Sensor Graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard and then send one win monster from your deck to graveyard. So, you get a foolish. So, I guess this can go ahead and set up, like, your Tri Eye Dice or your Duke. Uh, pretty much cards that I totally wouldn't mind uh, being sent to the graveyard for. Uh, plays. It'd be cool if instead of it said you could send one wind monster, which is pretty broad. I mean, any wind monster you want. I would like it maybe if it said that you can send like, uh, like a card that has speed right in its name, or like in its title, like in the card tab. That way maybe you could send speed recovery to the graveyard, and then you could use speed recovery its graveyard effect. Uh, during your main phase, after turn set to graveyard, you could banish this card from your graveyard, then target spirit monster and your graveyard, add that to target to your hand. So, if you don't want to send any monsters, you can just be like, alright, send speed recovery, and then next turn, like, speed recovery, banish, and grab something back, and, you know, that would be a plus as well. So, uh, so there's some pretty powerful, Speed Wars has some pretty powerful cards. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's like, I'd say it's half and half. Half of the monsters are just like, crap. And then half of the monsters are like, hmm, okay, good. I mean, we, I, mean, I, could, I could name the good ones off the top of my mind real quick, you know? Like, I, I put this guy, I put this guy as, okay, you know? Like, it, I, it's really hard to tell. Like, he's, he's, yeah. If there was a, if there was a clear line, it was like, these are guys that are absolute shit, and these guys are absolutely, like, decent, I'd put them in a decent line. I would. Like, I probably, Razor Wing, he's, like, we don't talk about Razor Wing. No one even talks about fucking speed or anything. Pachinko, 
No, he's not good. The Chinko card's not good. Uh, Yo Yo, I think it's good. Bamboo Horse is okay. Menko is okay. Teratop, of course. We have, come on, come on. We, we're not even gonna say anything. Uh, Denko, uh, Den Den, Deko Duke, he's good. Oja Kid, I don't think he's that good. Takatan of course, is good. Dry Dice, it's okay. It, gets a, it does a fine job. It gets a job done. Red, Red Eye Dice, yeah. I mean, that's one of the main uh, tuners to go to. Uh, we already talked about Om K Gum, so he's booty. So, like I said, I'd say it's about half and half. Uh, Shock Surprise is not terrible. Uh, speed Recovery is fantastic. Uh, I don't even know what high speed re-level is and re dice and dice roll battle. I don't know half of these fucking cards because you don't need to play them. Like uh, a lot of a lot of uh, the speed run mechanic is kind of luck based. Kind of like hey, you got lucky, but man, I'm not a big fan of luck. My luck is terrible. You guys already know that. So overall, this card's not bad. It's not bad. But uh, you know what goes great with the speed reds and freaking win with this. So uh, we might be review car reviewing them next week because you already know we combine the speed reds with the with the win the speed reds with the win witch and you got some crazy shit. So we'll go ahead and look at those cards next week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, uh, I will be back next week with some more card review. I just already stated what we're going to be reviewing. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.